Hey there, it's no secret that around the world people are getting into van life. It's hugely popular right now. And one of the main reasons is people just want to be out there traveling. But another reason is because people believe that living in a van can mean living cheaply. But just how much does it actually cost to live in a van? So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how much it costs me as a solo female to travel and live in the van. Hey there, we are Nigel and Sue. When the global pandemic put a halt to our overseas travel plans, we bought this 4x4 Sprinter van and converted it into our tiny home on wheels. Since the beginning of 2021, we've been traveling Australia and these are our adventures. Subscribe to our channel for more as we get outside into nature, hiking, mountain biking and kite surfing, getting off the beaten track and enjoying all this amazing country has to offer. But before I give you that figure, I'd like to know what you think. So drop your guesstimate down in the comments. Let me know how much you think it costs a week or a month. And also let me know what currency you're putting that estimate in. Obviously, I'm in Australia here. Um, so the figures that I give you today will be in Australian dollars, but I will pop up what those costs are in US dollars or euros or pounds just to make it a little bit easier so you don't have to get your own calculator and do all the calculations. I'll do that for you. Now you might think that if there's only one person in the van rather than two that the costs would be halved but in fact that's not the case because there are some costs that are going to stay the same regardless of how many people are in the van. For example the cost of putting fuel, diesel into the van. So I've divided the costs up into categories and those categories are going to be food, fuel that is diesel in the van, accommodation so paying for campsites, uh, costs for the van, so any servicing or repairs, registration, insurance, those sort of things. Um, then we have alcohol, <laughs> uh, eating out, takeaways, and then miscellaneous. So that's any additional things that we pay for, whether it's fees or tours or clothing or, you know, girly stuff that I like to buy. Um, and also costs like health insurance and that sort of thing. You might notice I have my shoulder taped up at the moment. I'm um, currently doing physio for my shoulder. Fingers crossed that I'm not going to need surgery. But those costs go into the miscellaneous costs as well. But before I give you the costs of living in the van, let's talk about comparison. So what did it actually cost? when I was living in a house. So I was renting a townhouse. The rent on that townhouse was $370 a week. And then I had all the other additional costs like electricity, gas, water, internet. All together, those costs came to around $1,800 a month or about $425 a week. So that 425 was basically just the cost to live in the house. And that's the money that I'm actually saving now by living in a van. I don't have to pay rent. We get our electricity from the sun with our solar panels and our lithium battery. Um, I do pay for gas. We have a gas stove and gas hot water. The refill, we have a 3.75 kilogram gas bottle and that costs $20. I just do a swap and go. So usually at Bunnings or a gas station, service station, swap it over and that costs about $20 a time. When the two of us are in the van, we swap it out once a month. Um, I'm swapping it out about once every two months now. And obviously water, we don't pay for water so we will either fill up at friends places if we are camped in their driveways um, we fill up at campsites we fill up in local parks just kind of anywhere that we can plug the uh, hose in we'll um, we'll fill up our water tanks there the other thing that we're not paying for that we were paying for in the house is internet so the Wi-Fi um, Wi-Fi at home we don't actually have Wi-Fi in the van we actually just hotspot off our phones so I've tallied up everything that I've spent over the last two months and what I'm going to give you is the average weekly costs of what I have been spending money on so the first category is food. Obviously, we've all got to eat. The average weekly cost for me um, in the van on my own for groceries is $87 a week or $390 a month. 
And when it comes to food, I definitely eat very healthy in the van. So today's lunch is this delicious Mexican beans and potatoes. I know that's going to be super yummy. And I'm parked up by this beautiful lake, so I'm going to go and sit out at one of the picnic tables and eat it there. I mean, how beautiful is this? The next category is fuel. Now our van is a 2011 4x4 Mercedes Sprinter and it runs on diesel fuel. Diesel's currently $1.50 a litre here in Queensland or thereabouts and on average I spend $76 a week on putting diesel into the tank. The third category is accommodation and this is one where I have saved a fortune over the last couple of months because I've actually only paid twice for campsites. So because I have been working and I'm hanging around Brisbane, I'm actually spending a lot of time at my dad's. I'm camped up here in his driveway. I camp outside my sister's sometimes. I camp outside the man cave sometimes. There are a whole bunch of free camps that I have stopped at um, and occasionally I do pay for a campsite, as I say, two in the last two months. And the campsites that I have stayed at, one of them was $15 a night for the van, so whether it's one or two people, and the other one was $8 a night per person. So the next category is stuff for the van. Um, and fortunately we haven't had a lot of expenses in this area uh, other than the oil change which I did all by myself very proud of myself first time I've ever done an oil change um, I did that a couple of weeks ago and it cost $170 for the oil that I had to replace so I didn't have to do a filter or anything it was just a straight oil change but this fan takes 11 and a half liters of oil so $170 I had to buy 12 liters the other van expenses that we have obviously are registration and insurance and also roadside assist so we have the van registered obviously standard registration for a motorhome so we got the um, the certification to change the registration from a cargo van to a motorhome which dropped the cost of our registration by about $200 a year so um, we currently pay about $1,000 a year to register the van and then we also have the van insured with a specialist RV or motorhome insurer which we go with CIL and again it's about $1,000 a year for the insurance for the van and then lastly we have the top level of the roadside assistance so we had to go with that one um, because it covers RVs, because we are seven metres long and three metres tall and 4.5 tonne GVM, we needed to get that top level so that they would tow us. And it also covers, I think, 3,000 kilometres of towing over a year. So it, it's very comprehensive. If we break down, they accommodate us um, into an Airbnb or a motel or whatever. I think they give us a hire car. Touch wood, none of that's happened yet. But that costs about, I think it's around $400 a year so those costs a thousand for rego a thousand for insurance and the 400 for roadside assistance that comes to 2400 a year so obviously that is about 200 dollars a month or about 50 dollars a week so nigel and i split those costs even though he's away on the other side of the country and i'm here so for me that cost comes to about 25 dollars a week or a hundred dollars a month uh, the next one is alcohol um, and I won't lie I like to have a glass of wine with dinner um, I like to have a beer every now and again so yeah um, I also like to go out with friends for a drink from time to time and I do like to keep tabs on how much I spend on alcohol and that figure is about $20 a week or about $90 a month so that's not too bad really considering is it? I hope not um, moving right along, the next category is eating out and takeaways. I do go out for lunches and coffee and that, that sort of thing with friends while I'm here. Um, I go out with my sons for lunch or dinners sometimes and that uh, total is about $33 a week or $150 a month. 
Lastly is the miscellaneous and this covers all sorts of things. So it's things like buying birthday presents for people, buying clothing, any fees for attractions or touristy type things that we do, but also any like girly health and beauty stuff that um, I like to do. Hey, I'm a girl. Um, and that total comes to about $30 a week, about $140 a month. So in addition to those costs, there are a couple more costs that I incur personally, and these are things that I also have when I was in the house. Firstly is my mobile phone bill, and secondly is health insurance. So those two costs are $120 a month for my phone and $150 a month for my private health insurance. So all told, the total cost of my life living in a van is a grand total of $289 a week. So that's averaged out over the two months or nine weeks that I kept a tally. $289 a week or the monthly is around $1,300 a month. So what do you think? Were you close to that cost? Did you think it would be more? Did you think it would be less? I actually thought it was about 250 until I added it all up, but I wasn't counting those things like my phone bill and my um, private health insurance because they had kind of direct debits that come out directly. So I kind of forget about those things. Um, obviously, this doesn't include any business costs that I have in running my business. This is just purely the cost of my life. So when Nigel gets back, we will keep a record of our travels. We did keep one when we were up in far north Queensland, but we want to do a little bit more uh, and we will give you, uh, we'll do an updated video and we'll talk about what it costs for the two of us in the van. And the other video that we're going to be doing, which a lot of people have been asking for, is the cost of our van conversion. I've got all of those figures and I'm just waiting for Nigel to come back because we want to talk a little bit about various different things. Like we want to talk about the plumbing and why that cost the amount it costs. We want to talk about, yeah, various different things in the van. So don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so that you'll be notified when that video comes along. And hopefully that should be out around the end of the year. Okay, guys, well, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that this video was enlightening to you. I hope that you weren't shocked. Maybe this will encourage you that van life is something that is in, within reach of just about anybody. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and as I said, please subscribe to our channel. It really helps us to be able to continue providing these videos for you. And if there's anything else you would like us to cover about van life, drop that in the comments down below as well. We'll be happy to make that video for you. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.